welcome back. The past couple of days have been kind of boring. Um, work has been picking up a little bit for some reason, so I just thought I would give um, vlogging a break. But we're back today, uh, and we're actually going to do something exciting and experiment. <laughs> I did a little bit of research, and I've heard if you prep correctly, you can have really good press-on nails for a couple weeks. And I would much rather deal with press-ons than having to go to the salon uh, and pay like upwards of like 100, 120 bucks every month. Where I bought six pairs of press-ons, right? Six pairs? Yeah. Six pairs of press-ons for 50 bucks. And then some like extra equipment that was like another 30. So, you know. $80, so that's not bad at all. But I, in the last vlog, I showed you the press-ons that I got, and then I actually just got, this came yesterday. I was waiting to film this because I was waiting for the rest of this stuff. I just didn't open it yet. So I got some nail files because the ones I have, I've had for like years um, and I want everything to be like sharp and, you know, um, buff it correctly. So I was like, let me just get some new ones. I also got um, a dehydrator and I think this is like a primer, but we're just going to use the dehydrator. Uh, to help the glue like really adhere to the nail <clears throat> and then <clears throat> let's see. I also got acetone uh, for when I need to remove them and it came with another nail file but I don't know the grit of this so we won't be using this one uh, people recommended what is this? 100 and 180? Yeah. I know nothing about nails. I did all my research on YouTube. Um, other things that are not nail related that came. I got a sample from my sister of this serum. It's just like a hydrating serum. It's by Tony Moly. Uh, if you go to like Ulta, Target, they sell this brand's face masks. And I tried the sample of this serum and it instantly changed my face. I was like, oh my God, my skin is so soft. Like it just makes it buttery soft. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna get a big size of it. It was only $15. Um, I'll link it down below, but I recommend this a lot. And then last thing in this bag, just my keto oatmeal <laughs> made from Lupini Mean. If you're new here and you haven't heard me talk about these before, they are really bitter. So I usually mix like a keto pudding mix with it um, or some sort of like something sweet with it just to cover up that bitterness and it tastes really good. Plus the pudding like thickens it up a little bit, uh, which is how I like it. And then the last thing that came that I haven't been able to use yet because I'm still waiting on something that I ordered like I don't know, two weeks ago, I got cheesecloth. <laughs> I think I talked about it in the last one, but I learned how to make butter. My sister taught me because she's made it a bunch of times before. Um, and she said she uses a strainer. I don't have a strainer. So I was like, why don't I just use cheesecloth? Because you can like wrap it and then like squeeze it in there and like really wring out all the buttermilk. Um, so I was like, well, I'll try that. And then I'm waiting on the butter dish to come. It's been like stuck in where God knows where. Um, sorry, I just really bumped the table. Um, I think Texas is having like really crazy weather and they're not as prepped as Chicago is when it comes to cold weather. So I think that's what the holdup was. I'm hoping it'll come by sometime next week. If not, I'm gonna cancel it and try and find another one because I'm not about to wait a whole ass month for this butter dish. Um, and there's plenty more of the same one uh, listed online. So at some point we'll be making butter together. <laughs> but that's all that came. 
we're gonna do my nails now and I think we're gonna try we're gonna try this short black set as a test because I want to hold on to these for the wedding and then I don't want to have long black nails because I just I want to have short ones for now and the green and the valentines I'm saving for holidays so um here's what we're gonna do first I'm going to bring you down a level so you can see um what I'm gonna do with my nails okay so here's the kit and I'm pretty sure that they sell these um like at Walgreens and like CVS but I wanted particular ones so I just ordered them offline off their website and they came really fast. I think I ordered them on a Sunday and they came that Tuesday. Okay, so you open it. It comes with a little prep pad, um, a cuticle pusher, and then I think directions. <laughs> and a little uh, <laughs> nail file. We'll use this because I don't really have anything else for my cuticles. And my cuticles don't really like encroach up. Actually, I don't even know if I'll use this. I have a nail drill, so I might just use that because I feel like it ends up cleaning it so much better. I'm going to pop off camera and use my nail drill and like really clean it up so I will be right back. Okay, I pushed my cuticles back, chopped my nails, <laughs> sorry they look really janky, um, and then I buffed the nail. So I'm going to find the sizes that work with my nail. They already have uh, pads on them, like sticky pads. And then I'm also going to write them down in a note on my phone so that that way I don't have to like keep finding them every time I get them. And then once I find them, we'll do the dehydrator and then we'll do it on one hand because I, I was, from my research, I heard that you're supposed to just work one hand at a time. So we'll dehydrate one hand, put them on, dehydrate the other, put them on. And then you're supposed to leave your thumbs for last because you're going to be pushing. So let me find my nail matches now. And it should be nail bed to nail bed. And the tabs, I believe, faced the nail bed. Okay, I got them all. And now we're going to work pinky to pointer finger. I'm just going to scoot those over, put these away. And I think after you put them on, you're not supposed to get them wet for like an hour or so because then I think you run the risk of having them pop off again. I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this prep pad just to get all the dust off and then use the dehydrator for my fingers. They say not to really use rely on this because it could dry out by the time. Oh my God, this is like the tiniest wipe. It could dry out by the time you get to your other hand. So, oh my God. This is literally the tiniest wipe I think I've ever seen. I think they say you can use acetone too. I think dehydrator is probably the best because, like I said, if you do your hand one at a time, or if you do it all at once, I'm sorry, you can get moisture back in the hand that you do second by that point. So, so. let's see, we're gonna... that on there. I'll do two fingers for now. Peel the backing. Okay. And start at the cuticle and then kind of like push it forward. Yeah, it feels on there pretty tight. Okay, finger two. Okay. So 
so far, they look cute. Better than my normal nails. They feel really stuck on, actually. Hand number one, done. I'll probably go over the ends because they do have like a little, I don't know if you can see that like little lip on there. But it has like the little like tab lip on there. So I'll probably just go over these really quick with the softer side of my nail file. I can't stop tapping them because they just feel so stuck. Okay, hand number two. Let's go. I guess I kind of fucked up already by um, putting my thumbnail on this finger or on this hand. But it's fine. I'm learning as we go. Maybe it doesn't even matter. I don't know. I'm like looking at them and I already feel like once the glue starts to wear off, it's gonna get really annoying by like here because. See how like this one is definitely too small? I feel like it's gonna start catching on things and maybe eventually pop off, but again, we'll let time be the test. There. And now we have a full set of nails. Okay, so nails are on and now it's gonna be a test to see how long they last. I'm gonna be really happy, like so happy because I love having nails. It's like my staple thing. I'm like, my friends, they're always like, oh, I like your nails. They're always done really nice. And so when I don't have them, I'm just like, I feel like a frump. <laughs> anyway, so I hope these last long. And then let's see, today I might go to the gym, maybe if I feel like it, but tomorrow I'm definitely going because I have Zumba. And then the rest of the day, I don't know. It's kind of just a chill weekend, so nothing crazy. I might bake maybe, I don't know, I just have to bake. So yeah, I'm sorry my life is boring. <laughs> Next month will be a little more exciting because I, I have two Galentine's Day events now. And then I also have a wedding. So I'll be traveling for that for a couple days. Um, and then Lupe's birthday. So, you know, but other than that, if I don't have anything else, I will see you tomorrow. Hi friends. I'm just sitting and reading. I'm reading Assassin's Blade. Um, but I think once I'm done with this book, I might switch over to Fourth Wing. My sister read it. And she was like, oh my god, it's so good. And they just came out with the second one just before the new year. Uh, and she's like, you have to read it. So I think I might switch over. But I'm just sitting here doing that and chill. Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Um, it's day full day two of nails and so far so good. The only thing is that it does catch on my hair, but that's okay. Right now, I'm heading to a massage. Yesterday and the day before, I've been having a lot of like head pain. Um, my shoulder just, for some reason I have a really bad knot there and it likes to give me headaches. So we're gonna try and go take care of that by getting a massage today. Uh, I'm going to a place by my sister's. I have a, like a, a gift card voucher thing for it, so we're gonna do that and then I'll check in with you after and let you know how it went. Hey friends, just got to the massage place and I have a couple minutes but I wanted to pop on here and end the video. Um, I'll be, you know, starting another one after I'm out but because I thought maybe me on a sleepy relaxed note <laughs> would not be fun. Um, so yeah, 
uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!